Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Singapore's huge surprise for Trump shows how much respect he's earned abroad. President Donald Trump departed the G7 summit on Saturday and headed to Singapore ahead of his highly anticipated meeting with North Korean dictator Kim Jong Un. Once in Singapore, Trump was treated to a huge surprise that demonstrated just how much respect he has earned abroad. Singapore held a surprise birthday celebration with cake and ice cream for President Donald Trump on the eve of his landmark summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong Un. Trump met with Singaporean Prime Minister Lee Shang Long on Monday. During their lunch, the latter had a special birthday cake brought out for the American president, who will turn 72 Thursday. Singapore's Minister of Foreign Affairs Vivian Balakrishnan tweeted out a picture of the festivities. Source, The Daily Caller. We appreciate your hospitality and professionalism and your friendship, Trump reportedly said in response after being surprised with the early birthday celebration. You're my friend, he told Prime Minister Lee. This, of course, is a marked departure from the reception Barack Obama received when he traveled overseas. In fact, the Chinese refused to even provide a staircase for Obama to exit Air Force One when he visited China, forcing him to descend from the ass of the presidential jet in humiliating fashion. When asked about this debacle during his presidential campaign, Trump said, If that happened I would say thank you very much. Close it up. I'm going back to Washington. Boom. Indeed, the world knows who they're dealing with when it comes to President Donald Trump. He is a master negotiator and a force to be reckoned with. He puts America first at all costs. The days of putting out and getting nothing in return are over for the United States. Trump is currently in Singapore to meet with North Korean dictator Kim Jong Un who arrived on Sunday at the Changi Airport. Trump will meet Kim at the Capella Hotel on Sentosa Island at 9 a.m. on Tuesday. We've got a very interesting meeting, in particular, tomorrow, and I just think it's going to work out very nicely," Trump said Monday. President Trump and Kim Jong-un of North Korea will hold a first-ever meeting between leaders of their two countries on Tuesday morning in Singapore, carrying with them hopes of ending seven decades of hostility and the threat of a nuclear confrontation. At stake is the American goal of ridding North Korea of its nuclear arsenal, Mr. Kim's desire to remove American weapons from the Korean Peninsula and to be recognized as a player on the world stage, and the international desire to ease the North's provocations, poverty and extreme isolation. The talks begin at 9 a.m. on Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern on Monday, and could even open the way to an official end to the Korean War, which concluded in 1953 with a truce but never a peace treaty. South Korea will not be at the table, nor will China the North's most crucial backer. The summit meeting is the most prominent moment yet in international diplomacy for both Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim. Not long ago, they were better known for threatening each other's countries with destruction than for peace overtures. With Donald Trump now in the White House, the U.S. is again receiving the deserved amount of respect from foreign nations and their leaders. The world will anxiously await the outcome of this summit with North Korea as we cheer President Trump for his unprecedented accomplishments. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.